next theorem is regarding the weak law of large numbers now let's have a look at the statement that x1 x2 etc xb be a sequence of random variables and xi is equal to mu i where i takes the values 1, 2, 3, etc. up to n and let sn be the sum of all the n random variables and m mu n is equal to mu 1 plus mu 2 plus mu 3 plus etc. mu n then vn is equal to variance of sn that is variance of x1 plus x2 plus x3 etc. xn which is uh, this one is finite then then we say that probability of mode less Sn divided by N minus mu N divided by N is greater than or equal to uh, epsilon which tends to 0 as N tends to infinity provided you have to satisfy this condition that is Bn divided by N square tends to 0 as N tends to infinity for any epsilon greater than 0. As I said earlier, now this is a very huge statement bit of confusing a lot of information is given in the statement you can use this information to prove this inequality by applying the Chebyshev's inequality so let's have a look at the proof now we are uh, we have arrived at the proof so um, again I have written all the valuable information that was uh, given to us uh, through the statement over here now, I'm going to apply Chebyshev's inequality and I'm going to consider the first inequality that is probability of modulus x minus mu greater than or equal to t sigma less than or equal to 1 by t square. Okay, now before applying that, the variable that I'm going to consider is Sn by n. So, the variable I'm going to consider is Sn by n. I'm going to take the expectation of Sn by n which is equal to 1 by n into expectation of Sn that is equal to 1 by n into um, actually what is sn from the statement we know that sn is equal to x1 plus x2 plus etc xn so expectation of sn is equal to expectation of x1 plus x2 plus etc plus xn fine which is equal to 1 by n into uh, now what is expectation of x1 it is mu 1 so mu 1 plus mu 2 plus etc plus mu n now what is that that is equal to 1 by n into so sorry this is mn okay mn so this is 1 by n into mn that is the sum of all the means of n random variables is denoted as mn this also is something that we got from our statement so finally we have um, what expectation of Sn divided by N as Mn divided by N. Now we have to find out the variance of Sn by N. Now in order to find out the variance of Sn by N, I am going to take this N outside. So it is 1 by N square variance of Sn which is equal to 1 by n square into what is uh, variance of Sn? Variance of Sn is actually what? Bn. So, I can write that as Bn. Now, what is variance of Sn? This is equal to sigma square. So, if you want to find sigma, what is the answer? Root of Bn divided by n. So, this is something else that we got from our uh, information. Uh, so, expectation of Sn divided by n is equal to this and your sigma is equal to this. Now, you are ready to apply your Chebyshev's inequality to this proof and we will be charged the inequality. When you apply Chebyshev's inequality, you will get probability of more or less. Instead of x, you can write what Sn divided by n minus instead of mu, you can write mn divided by n more or less greater than or equal to what is it t into what is sigma sigma is root bn by n okay less than or equal to 1 by t square now you have to choose t is equal to um, epsilon divided by uh, what root bn Okay, such that you get an inequality as, now you all have to sub, uh, substitute, now this is A, I'm going to mark this as equation 1. Yeah, you, can sub, you have to substitute this equation A in equation 1 and what you will get which implies 
probability of modulus Sn by N minus Mn by N. Greater than or equal instead of T, what can you write there? Root of Bn by N epsilon N into N divided by root of Bn. Fine. Which is the less than or equal to 1 divided by instead of T square you can write what epsilon N the whole square divided by root Bn the whole square which implies probability of modulus Sn by N minus Mn by N greater than or equal to epsilon less than or equal to less than or equal to what now what does this what does this becomes bn divided by epsilon n the whole square now we uh, know that as n tends to infinity as n tends to infinity from the statement it is clear that you get what bn tends to bn tends to zero so what does that mean? When Bn tends to 0, the whole term tends to 0. That means what? Which implies probability of modulus Sn divided by N minus Mn by N greater than or equal to epsilon also tends to what? 0. So finally we reached our statement and we have proved that as N tends to infinity, Bn tends to 0. That is there in our statement. And because of that, we say that this inequality or this probability tends to 